term neoliberalism is, is a very curious one. Uh, first of all, it's not, it's not liberal by any means, as we've discussed, and it's not new. If you have no constraints on capital flow, then you can attack currency. Now that creates what uh, international economists sometimes call a virtual parliament of investors and lenders. And if they think the policies are irrational, uh, they can vote against them by capital flight. The policies that are irrational are, by definition, those that benefit people. Well, I mean, you know, Milton Friedman has blood on his hands. He needs a citizen's revolt. His view of the world has progressively been adopted by all major political parties. We believe in our relationship with business and industry. There is a third way, a new way, between some command economy, state control of industry and the politics of laissez-faire. This third way seeks a partnership between government and business, but this time limited to certain key specific objectives. This bill is the most important legislation for financial institutions in the last 50 years. It's pro-consumer, granting small savers greater access to loans. Now this bill also represents the first step in our administration's comprehensive program of financial deregulation. All in all, I think we hit the jackpot. Well, they are very different because you have two parties based on a free society or free enterprise society and economic freedom. We have one party based on that, one main party, and another one based on socialism. Mm -hmm.